Pollinators need our help now more than ever. What can we do at home to give them a hand? Plant more native plants. It doesn't matter how big, small, or non-existent your yard is, you can help. Today we're going to be focusing on the monarch butterfly. What plants do monarchs need more than any other? You guessed it, milkweed. In fact, it's the only thing those little caterpillars eat. Today I'm channeling one of my favorite YouTubers, Andrew Ray from Binging with Babish, to bring you a new planting series I'm going to call it Transplanting with Tom. Not the best title I know, but we're going to go with it today to show you how you can plant your very own milkweed at home. Hey guys, I'm Tom Knezik from Pinelands Nursery and the Native Plants Healthy Planet Podcast. And today I'm going to show you how you can help monarch butterflies right at home by planting milkweed in a container. Uh, of course, earlier I said you could help uh, help monarch butterflies no matter how big, small, or non-existent your yard is, and that's where containers come in. Doesn't matter if you have a patio, deck, balcony, if you have some kind of outdoor space, you can use a container to help monarch butterflies. So with that, let's get started. All right, first things first, you wanna get your supplies ready. First thing you're gonna need is a container. I have this nice green one, but you can use whatever you want. Kitchen pots, pans, anything that'll hold some soil, that'll do. Then you're gonna wanna plug, but first, take a drink. Think about that milkweed plug you're going to get. You can order one from the store. We grew ours ourselves, but really, store-bought is fine. You can even get them online if you don't like leaving the house nowadays. You're going to fill that pot with soil. Don't worry about the mess. Just pour it all over the place. We can always clean up later. Level out that soil. Now you're going to set that pot to the side. You realize the mess was a little bigger than you expected. Clean up that soil. It's going to get in the way later. Bring your pot back to the center. Now comes the hard part. Tamp it down. Give her the old one, two, three. Okay, now we go. Not too loose, not too deep. Now you're going to dig a hole in that soil just big enough for your plug to go in. Put it in. Push the soil around so it's not too packed in. Just tight enough. He's nice and snug in there. Oh, beautiful job. We're done. Voila, you have your very own milkweed plant that you can now use at home. But what if you want to make things harder? We're going to take you, make it one step harder. We're going to seed our own milkweed plants. So first things first, you're gonna need some seed. You can buy a packet from online again. Don't like to leave the house, have it delivered. You can go to your garden center and get some, or if you're really ambitious, go and wild collect it. First thing you wanna do is read the directions on the back of that packet. It's gonna give you so much insight on what you need to do. Plenty of seeds you can put right in the soil, not milkweed. Milkweed needs cold, moist stratification, which means we gotta take an extra step here. So you're gonna open up your packet, but first get a moist paper towel ready, not wet, Ring it out, make sure it's not too wet. And now we're gonna lay that paper towel out. We got a lot of unfolding here to do, clumsy hands. Now you're gonna take your open milkweed seed packet, dump it over that wet paper towel, get it nice and even on there. From there, fold the paper towel in half. You don't have to do this, this is just what I did. You can leave it unfolded, but you're gonna put it in that bag. You want the, the seeds to be pressed up against that moist paper towel. And now you're gonna seal that up nice and tight. Make sure you're right what it is. It's going in your fridge. You don't want to forget what it is. You don't want to forget where it is and throw it out with leftovers. Go put it in your fridge for 30 to 60 days. 30 to 60 days later, we come back. Our milkweed seed has been in the fridge. It's that cold, moist stratified. We're going to open up the, the moist towel and reveal all of those seeds. And now we just put one in each cell. They should all germinate. They've all been stratified. So you're just gonna put one in every single cell. I can do it really fast. It might take you a little longer at home. I'm a pro. You're done. That's really it. Take a drink of water. You just did all that hard work. Now you're gonna water those seeds in just a little bit. You gotta share your water. They need a little bit of water and that'll help establish seeds to cool soil contact. You don't wanna do too much here and, and go crazy. Just a little bit of water on top. You don't wanna wash away your seed. After that, it's as easy as snap, you have milkweed. Look at that. Realistically, this takes a couple weeks to get to this step, but we're gonna ignore that for the sake of the video. But from here, we're basically just going back to our first step where we took our milkweed and just planted in the pot. So let's get all of this stuff ready. Here we go, we got our pot back up. You're just gonna dig out a little hole, get your milkweed pot, re or pot ready, plug it right into that hole, fill it around, tuck her in nice and easy. Love it like it's your only child. Give it a little bit more water. The rest that we have, I don't think there's anything left in that bottle now. And that is it. You just planted your very own milkweed. You are helping monarch butterflies right at home. No matter how big or small your yard, 
put that pot out in the sun. Now you're going to check out these links for a lot more information. Wow, look at them pop up. That was beautiful. Last thing, check out this book called Bringing Nature Home by Dr. Doug Talmy. He is the guru of this stuff. If you want to attract more birds and insects and just make your yard or patio a bigger part of nature, you're really going to want to read this book. It is the roadmap on how to do this. With that, thank you very much. I'm Tom Knezic from Pinelands Nursery and the Native Plants Healthy Planet Podcast. I'll see you later.